Hello and welcome to Mr. Murphan Art Studio. I am Nargis and today we'll learn to make very ethnic letter holder or a tissue holder. We'll do a letter stand using pattern paper today. For this, we need an MDF letter stand. Your choice of pattern paper. Here I've taken this Rajasthani style pattern paper. Mod Podge Varnish Make sure it is the clear varnish Paint of your choices I've taken orange and golden Sandpaper Now let's decide on the design So how do we want to put this paper? So I've decided I'm going to put it uh, like this on both the sides. Once you're sure for the design, we need to cut the paper. For cutting, I'm using this cutting board and the knife. and then divide it in two halves so this is what we are gonna put on both the sides now we are gonna paint the inside of this letter stand for some color I'm using this artist acrylic color I'm using a contrasting color orange so once you've painted inside paint the outside edges with the same color you can use a different color if you want I am using the same color to paint the outside edges as well to add some interest I am adding some green color as well I am using the same color and as we know that the paper is a little short we might want we want to cover the edges so let's put some interest and let's put some green color Now let it dry. Once your project has dried, we are going to put the papers using Mod Podge. So this is decoupage glue that we are going to use. Put 
white punch you know carefully put the paper in the corners repeat for the other side And let it dry. Once your project has dried, we are going to remove these extras on the top. To remove this, I'm using a knife. Just press and bend this paper on the edges and So this is removed. Repeat for the other side. So I've cut the extras from both the sides. We are going to smooth the edges. To smooth the edges, we are going to use a sandpaper. Take a piece of sandpaper and smooth the edges. So once you have sanded, you will see this, the edges are pretty smooth and your project look like this. The next step is to seal this paper with the project. For this, I am again going to use the same Mod Punch glue which is going to help in sealing the project. So apply a coat of Mod Punch on the paper. When this side dries, repeat for the other side. So once your mod podge has dried, we are going to distress the edges. To distress the edges, I am going to use this metallic color and I have also added some acrylic color. I'm going to use this foam brush. So just dip the brush in the color, remove the extras, and distress the edges. So after distressing, your project looks like this. Now the last step is to varnish it. I'm going to use this compact quick dry varnish. Shake it just spray over the project. Repeat for the other side and let it dry after drying this is how your project is going to look just notice i have painted the back side as well 